Hi everyone, my name is Autumn Craig, and I'm the creator of LoveMyScrapbookingIdeas.com and the author of Entitled Scrapbooking, a resource for page title ideas, and Scrap and a Snap, which is all about scrapbooking organization. And today I'm here with you to share scrapbooking ideas that can be done in 15 minutes or less. So thanks for joining into this new series, and I hope you enjoy it. Hi there. Today we're going to be decorating or embellishing soda can tabs. We're going to make a cute little belt buckle out of this. Now there's two different versions of this. One is extremely easy, and the other is not difficult, but takes a little bit more time. So we're going to go through each individually, and first we're going to look at the simplest version. And all you're going to need is a soda can tab. I'm using a piece of paper towel here just for ease of cleanup, and you're going to need regular nail polish. And all we're going to do is paint with nail polish the side that you want to have showing. It's very simple. And this is going to give you an embossed like surface without the embossing gun, the powder, and the extra time it would take to do that. So you can quickly put one or two coats of nail polish on your tab, let it dry, and you're ready to go. Okay, now we're ready to go on to the more complicated version, but it's still relatively simple. So for this version, basically all you need, um, and this is an optional little tray for the embossing powder, but you're going to need a stamp pad, some embossing powder, soda can tab, and a heat gun to work with the embossing powder. So chances are if you've done any stamping, you have all this stuff on hand, so this should be pretty simple. And what we're going to do to start is we're going to take the soda can tab, the side that you want to have showing, which is the, the nice shiny flat side, and you're going to press it into the stamp pad. Make sure it gets saturated. And you're going to open your embossing powder and sprinkle to make sure the area is covered. And what I'm going to do is just shake off the excess. And this tray will allow me to actually pour the excess right back in there when I'm completed, which makes it just so much easier for cleanup. But again, that's not a requirement. So now I have my soda can tab that's covered with a red embossing powder, and I'm going to use my heat gun. And I'm just going to make sure I keep moving it around in circles. until the embossing powder melts. And since we're working on the metal piece here, you definitely want to give it a second to cool off because the, the heat gun definitely has a, a high power heat source to it and this will be hot to the touch. But as you can see, we have a nice shiny, what looks like red metal um, belt buckle. And a little bit later, I'll use it in a layout and show you what I'm gonna do with it. 